one concepts investigate consumer one technologies for home and mobile devices explore consumer one technologies look at the two home networks yellow square is the consumer one technologies consumer one technologies and there are two home networks this using home cable network and this another home dsl network the the pink section what are the one technologies in use the first home network using cable and the second home network using dsl cable and dsl examine the connections used in the network topology by selecting the connections icon what media is used to connect the two home networks to the isp okay go to connections down here connections and look at this this uh, this cable is this this blue cable is coaxial and this another cable is this phone cable coaxial for cable network and phone cable for dsl network okay coaxial cable for cable and phone cable for dsl what devices in the home networks are directly connected to the isp this is the isp and for home cable the device is coaxial splitter and for dsl the device is the dsl modem click the dsl modem and open the physical top click here physical what ports are available on the device and what is connected to them okay zooming dsl modem has two ports one is connected one port is connected to isp to telco this this port line zero connected to isp telco and the another port is connected to the wireless router and is this fast ethernet port what is the purpose of the dsl modem it converts the telephone data and network signals to ethernet for the home network what is the type of connection between isp telco cable company network and the home cable network okay this is isp telco and this is uh, the home cable network the type of connection is made with coaxial cable coaxial cable why is the splitter necessary okay this is the splitter before the coaxial cable goes to cable modem there is a coaxial splitter the splitter is necessary because the cable carries both digital data and video signals the splitter splits the media so that the data signal can be sent to the cable modem and the video signal to the TV. Look at the ports on the cable modem. Click here, cable modem. What does the cable modem do? The cable modem converts the cable data signals to Ethernet signals. 
What connections does it have? Uh, it is connected to coaxial cable from the splitter and UTP cable from the Ethernet interface. Okay, coaxial cable to the splitter using this port, coaxial, and UDP cable connected to wireless router on this port, fast Ethernet zero. Which port does the cable from the cable modem connect to on the home wireless router? Okay, go to uh, wireless router, click here. Okay, the connection to cable modem is using the internet interface, this blue, blue Ethernet connector. Where did the interface IP address come from? Okay, go to graphical user interface and go to status. And now you can see internet connection, automatic configuration DHCP. Okay, so the DHCP server is ISP. And wireless router will get the IP address on internet interface using DHCP. Look at the smartphone. This smartphone on, on the street. What is the IP address? Click here on smartphone, Dex, uh, desktop, command prompt, IP config to verify the IP address. Okay, and this is the wireless for Wi Fi. Does not have IP address with the 3G, 4G cell connection 198 51 100 101 okay also you can see this on uh, 3g 4g cell is configured with with dhcp and using this ip address 198 51 100 101 where did the ip address come from Okay, if this uh, smartphone is using the HCP, the IP address come from ISP Telco. ISP Telco is the DHCP server. What data service is in the cell phone currently using? Okay, click on a smartphone. Okay, 3G, 4G network. 3G, 4G network. Explore the business one. Okay, this is the business one, this uh, light blue square. Look at the connections. What different types of connections do you see in use in the business network? First, uh, this uh, black black cable is copper straight through. This is for Ethernet. Another is this red. Uh, this red uh, is uh, fiber. Okay, here is orange with bit. Okay, here is orange, but when you place on the topology is now red. Is fiber, fiber optic, fiber optics cable. And this another is this serial cable. Open the physical view for the StoreNet switch. Okay, this is a StoreNet. Click here. Physical top.
what types of interfaces are present. This switch has uh, gigabit interfaces. Okay. On this side, using fiber optics, but on this another side, using uh, copper or Ethernet cable. Okay, and these are the copper interfaces, the Ethernet interfaces, and this another, the fiber optics interfaces. Okay copper with ethernet and fiber optics on this another side also using ethernet but fiber optics okay this is the the name uh, glc lh smd is this glc lh smd gigabit base Gigabit Ethernet port for SPF, okay, for fiber connection. Which interface and media are used to connect the store networks to the business headquarters network? Okay, these are the stores and these are headquarters. Okay, a stores, a store one, a store two, and a store three are connected to a store net, a store net switch. And using fiber optic, fiber optic cable, and a store net is using a copper Ethernet cable to business headquarters. Why was this done? This was done because of the distance required to reach the stores. In real world, another provider would provide this fiber optic service. It's using fiber optics to connect the headquarters and store and stores. What type of one service is used to connect the business headquarters router to the ISP? Okay, the business headquarters router is connected to ISP Telco. And, it, and the router is using a serial connection to connect the ISP. Explore connectivity. Big devices within the business one and the consumer one networks. Also, ping between the networks and the web server. Okay, first, ping devices within the business one. Okay, for example, go to store one one and ping. This uh, and ping server zero, server zero IP address is 192.168.101.100. Success. And okay, and from store one one ping the server. Ping the server two oh nine one sixty five two hundred two twenty six. Ping two oh nine one sixty five two hundred two twenty six. Success from a smartphone. And go to a smartphone and come on prompt, for example, uh, ping laptop one, laptop one IP address 192.168.0.100. Ping 192.168.0.100. 
Okay, ping fails because wireless router is uh, using a NAT and when you are using NAT, you cannot ping a device in the internal network. Okay, go to a smartphone and ping the server, this uh, web server, 209.165.200.26. 29.165.200.26 success okay and don't forget between the networks um, ping, uh, for um, a smartphone ping server 0 and server 0 IP address is 192.168.101.100 ping 192.168.101.100 100 Okay, pin fails Con can all hosts ping each other in the web server? Okay, within business one, devices can ping each other. From business one, it's possible to ping web server. Within a consumer network, Ping is not possible because uh, wireless routers are using NAT. But from consumer network, it's possible to ping web server. And finally, it's not possible ping uh, from consumer one to business one. And also will not be possible ping from business one to consumer one. For uh, security reasons and uh, for the NAT used on wireless routers. Is this a good situation? Yes, these networks should not be directly reachable from outside for security reasons. Thank you very much.